Hello there. I'm at the Shady, which is near Parple, uh, Tarpley, which is on the uh, Shropshire Union Canal. I just had a pork pie and pick a lily and a pint. Right, I'm going to go back to where I'm parked now. So I won't make my way here. Had some lunch, a light lunch. So I'll have a nice big meal tonight and I'm on my way. Oh, nice pub. There we go. Welcome to the Shady. So it's one of those pubs, if you like them, you know, the price is a, uh, I just had a pork pie, so I can't quote on everything, but nice pub. And if you want a place for a meal with a view of the uh, canal, it's ideal. There's the hill there. I think that's where Beeston Castle is. All right, let's continue. I tried to get a friend to come with me, but she was busy. Well, all I can say, she's missing out. See her again. There's a lot of people don't like being filmed, I ask. Sometimes even on a boat, somebody if they want me to film. There they are. So this is the road. The car park just round there. I think it used to be the Shady Oak at one time. Uh, so, obviously it's not now. It's good that the, the sunshine's just come back again now, which is good. I can smell the food from the, uh, the pub. I mean, out of that extractor fan there, look. Uh. So this is the way onto the uh, canal, the Shropshire Union. So it's about an hour. I mean, I do sometimes pause it if there's a boring bit, which is most of it, <laughs> be about two minutes long. No, if there is, I just pause it and then restart it. So the journey, obviously, that I've done doesn't tally. It'll be shorter then, won't it? You can work it out, can't you? You need a piece of paper. Anyway. There's a celebrity boater up here that I passed. So, um, I'll, uh, this is a, a, just an ordinary, but you get celebrity boaters, you know. What it means is they just film, you know, to help with the expense of running a boat and it's not getting better with the in, uh, increase in the license. So, yeah, Narrowboat Will is a character, yeah, he's doing, he's doing mechanical stuff and I, I suggested that he had something, you know, he says, I'll put a bit of oil on this cover, but no, no, petrol, that's right, and you see it'll clean all the gunk off, and I said he should put a, an alternate take, where he says, I'm just putting this petrol on the cover to get rid of the kunk. Um, I just had a match and it becomes a dog. Woof. Play reggae music. 
Yeah, he's completely bonkers, not like me. Oh. So, there we go. Let's go back around here. See where we've been. Do you know, for the life of me, I can't remember the name. She's the pirate lady. Or the... I'll, sh I'll just do a side of the boat. Got the name of the boat. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not going to tap on the window. I'm an aging man. I've lost all my looks now, so there's no point. It's just uh, send it, post it, which I do on these... Uh, on YouTube, and then I'll put the, uh, there we go, the rum wench, and my apologies, I do. You know when you know somebody, you're quite familiar, and you just, at my age, you just forget, because it's so obvious, you don't, uh, it's like my own phone number, say, so have you got your phone number, and of course, I have to look it up, because I don't phone myself, it's not that I'm uh, stupid or anything, but uh, yeah. Lovely countryside. Oh, it's gone a bit dull again, but never mind. So there's a number of boaters I've sort of met, or I've just said hello, you know. Yeah, they could be like rock stars, you know, and have hangers on and people spying on them and all that stuff. I was in uh, Chester and they had a CRT guy there. Well, I said, it wasn't obvious. And I asked him what's going on there, there's a book. He says, oh, you have to sign up. He said, you know, to keep the paths going and all this stuff. And I said to him, well, I do my thing by making donations. They call it making a coffee. And their prices are going up. And uh, he's telling people, you, you know, they might be deceived thinking that he's paying for the, uh, nothing to do with the boats, he's really about the footpaths and stuff. Mind you, they could eventually, don't want to give them ideas, say, oh, well, we have to, you know, we, we'll have to make them private except for people. Anyway, I found out he was getting paid as well. You know, anyone who was uh, a volunteer in that, and there are volunteers on the locks, they're the real people and they're there to help you know the alliance but once you've got somebody there's been paid by crt maybe getting a bonus for getting for this friends of it might be annually or monthly who knows because i wasn't interested after that yeah sorry i'm just thinking a narrow boat will you know there's uh put the match on the petrol and his hair all frizzy. <laughs> Why didn't he do that? But I do watch maintenance stuff. You know, that's that's his thing, isn't it? It's very helpful to others. Yeah, mad as a box of frogs or whatever. But no, he isn't really. He's, uh, just because he plays golf, he's perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah. There we go. After that noise, whatever it was. It's still there. Oh, keep going. I do like peace and quiet. You couldn't put money on it, really. Whoops, treacherous.
just a bit of road noise. But we're in Britain. There's only a few places where you... Uh, I was, I was uh, in Canada. I was in the army at that time. And uh, they had maps on, on a, a tree. Some of them. It was on the... It was called the uh, prairie. They're marked on the map. And I've never been in a situation where at one time I was driving a Land Rover with all the water on it and all the supplies in the on the prairie and I stopped and I turned around like I'm doing now 380 degrees and it was like the sea there was nothing there you know there was grass and stuff you know probably gophers underground but you know what I'm saying never experienced that before So this isn't complicated, is it? I just follow the pathway uh, and sign up with this guy while he's getting a nice commission. Good, isn't it? Meanwhile, the boaters will be no doubt impressed with how they're helping. The Canal and River Trust. I've met some of them here, chat to them. It's the administration, isn't it, of it that's the thing in my book, like most things. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, on the Manchester Ship Canal, most of them are paid, the CRT, but they're, you have to, the big locks, and, you know, I wouldn't think that adds to the, they get about a quarter funding from the government or whatever it is. So when I, if I, what's your opinion? Am I a bit harsh or, you know, I just want people to be aware that, that, that there's somebody paid, they're not working on there, and they're making the main claim, which uh, he seemed a bit uncomfortable and I was perfectly polite to him. And then uh, finally when he admitted that he was getting paid, you know, because real volunteers, there's plenty of volunteers, like I say, to help. Mostly the boaters and their love of the uh, canals. It's like, you know, the book was a thing. It's the Nicholson's Guide. Or any other books, as far as I know, and people that are artists and that contribute and do their job, sell their stuff, make their cakes, offer the tea. And uh, I just interested. I said, well, can't I just buy the book? And he said, no, I had to sign on to keep all the paths clear and all this stuff. Yeah, right. Well, how do you know? Yeah. I think we should have a, a protest in the city and block all the traffic. Uh, say it. Uh... No, we won't go there. <laughs> Let's... Let's enjoy the countryside and the peace. Yeah. yeah, there are many. The country house gent, there's loads of other canal boaters I follow. It's nice. It's watching somebody's visu visual diary as they travel. And all kinds of things happen. Yeah. They're just individuals, so so it's not not a usually an alien abduction or anything like that. I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I've just had that pork pie at the pub. I'm actually consciously not talking too much because I can be a bit of a chatterbox I generally a sort of reserved type of chap you know still handsome but fading and you know that kind of thing urbane 
You know, I've got my blazer and my brass cufflinks. Yeah. These are all numbered. Some are not. Some have got a name to them as well. And uh, they're handy. I've got the Nicholson's Guide, although I don't have a boat. But it's very useful. It's got the pubs and the, where they stop for their water and various stuff. And there's the odd chandlers, boating chandlers. Uh, So it's a nice place. I feel a bit part of it. There's many miles I've done. Yeah. There's a dog barking. I was in Ellesmere Port, which is near to me, and they're doing a TV thing. They were unloading the props. It was it's near the start. Eastham is the start of the Manchester Canal. It ends up, as you know, in, in Manchester. But, um, yeah, it's just so happened. Was there, because it's raining, I couldn't do anything. Had a breakfast and went down. And then I noticed something different and they were moving props, large props in for this TV. Something to do with Guinness, history of Guinness or something. So that will be on your TVs and it's, uh, there's other locations in, uh, on the Wirral and uh, on, in Liverpool, etc. That's only what I've heard. There was a security guy and of course he was quite happy to chat if no, at the time because he's got a long shift apparently, so he's told me that. So that's interesting. You know, on a cloudy afternoon, I can't think of anything nicer to do. You need to get exercise and get out. Yeah, yeah I got a trip on the back of the boat as well one and that once. So I was filming and they offered me to climb on the back. Just brass or something like that, the boat. A kind couple on there. Uh, you know, I get around to doing stuff, you know, like a Beatles tour and stuff that's nearby Liverpool and that I never did before. I found a dead basking shark at Birkenhead, right near Perth Rock. And uh, thousands of people watch that, it was about four minutes, and I do walks that I like. So you never know what people like. And because it's a hazard, the, uh, it's like a bulldozer come with a shovel on the front to get rid of the body. It stank a bit. So I'm off to Spain for quite a long time, so I won't be paying fuel and lighting because I won't be there. And uh, I'll be filming. I love it. I do have a meal and socialise. I've been on the strip at Benidorm and all that stuff. But I do, I, I, you know, it's, it's not like I'm doing a walk in this uh, bamboo and rios, rivers, following them. That 20 foot high bamboo cactuses. There's uh, the trees, not the trees, what are they called? The palms. 
and they're in fruit in the winter, or they seem to be. And they go to bakeries, get the discounted ticket on the train or the buses. Yeah. I go South Catering because it's cheaper. But the food is so cheap anyway. Uh, you know, it's not... Uh, but it's nice to get back and just have your own cup of tea and whatever you want. You can buy the sardines fresh or whatever, or anchovies, and have them on toast for breakfast. So sometimes I'm not eating a full British, but there's nothing wrong with that. But the crusty bread, fresh fish from the market. Yeah, there's not so much now. Yeah, the problem, and most boaters I watch them, is the weed and stuff like this. There's continual stoppages. Narrowboat Bit Will is up on up the north of England, up around, uh, I do know the name of it, and seems to be all kinds of problems and the, uh, the banks breaking on the, on the canals. So if you want to make a bit of money, <laughs> Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm where I'm going, yeah, yeah, all the time. That's my excuse. I'm, uh, I'm not a long pause and I'm, uh, and, hmm, yeah, let's go. There's a big load of mushrooms, never seen so many, but I might miss it because it wasn't obvious. They're only on the other side of a wooden fence or something, so I'll try to remember to look for it. I think so, they were actual edible, but I can't, I can't be bothered. It's about 90 pence for a big pollet of them, isn't it? It's not worth the risk. Oops, caught my uh, gimbal there. What's that there? It looks like an electric there. See that there and it then going across? Is it electric? Oh, who knows? There's a style there, a little hidden path. That's what I'm saying about the mushrooms, it's something like that. But it's I've got uh, a microphone, but I think it will work. 
and it's uh, I've got a jacket on because it's cold and it's under the jacket so we'll see I notice most people put it on the outside but it, it could get brushed like I say I'm going past many things in that gimbal it only need a little touch in the to be the end of it but it's not moving enough you see what I mean it won't sound hopefully you just have to take a risk you have to take risks in life and this this for me is a big risk a bit outside my uh, safety zone <laughs> There's something in the back of my neck that's fallen off. Well, it's just a twig. It's not a caterpillar, they're all probably gone now. So I could pause this, but I'll just keep it as it is. You can always fast forward anyway. To the end. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to say there's some fantastic event happening at the end, but uh, no, I'll be honest. Well, uh, so far as I could get away with it, you know. I had a father-in-law and uh, he was ex-Navy and he'd come up. Think of Quint from Jaws and uh, you never knew whether he was telling the tale you know, it's make up a story and it's, it could be plausible or not. You never know. I mean, the, the, on the, he was named, the name was Dak. And then he goes on, oh, we dark, you know, D dash arc. And then we're French. He was telling all these adventures. And I suppose, you know, you're thinking, when does it? <laughs> Nevertheless, good to, we never got round to going, it was on the Isle of Wight, I could never done a round circular tour on a walk. We went part way and had a, a drink. But like all people, he passed away. Yeah, I suppose I've, at the end it is unusual because it's some kind of skateway park and stuff and it's closed. So it was ideal, it was near the canal because sometimes it's difficult to find somewhere to park. Uh, either, either end, you know, if it's a pub or something like that you're going to, or from one, you know, proper landmark, but there's still nevertheless I don't want to pay. The other thing is a car park and goodness sake, it's in the middle of nowhere and there's a council charge, you know, for up to four hours and all this nonsense. Well, most people can go around on the car and maybe within a short distance they'll find somewhere to park. It's a sort of negative thing when it becomes so much. I think that that's, could be a pork pie, that, or a pint, maybe a, even a half that I can get now. Sounds like a helicopter or something coming by now. Oh no, it's the train. Good God. Manny, I'm going through trees and stuff, so it's distorted sound. It's a train. Isn't it? Who knows? So there's a wide variety of walks, like I say, there's tours, which I've done abroad as well, you know, on the top of a bus, they're very good. And because uh, you get to see a lot and it's uh, easy for me. And uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm moving to a new location now. And there's these pink lagoons that are a short distance on the train tram, about an hour. And there's a proper tour on it, I'm looking I was just gobsmacked when I saw it. It was so good. Well, you'd have to get and see it, wouldn't you, to know? Uh, yeah. 
So yeah, it doesn't have to be a walk. It could be a tour, it could be a boat trip. You go on a boat at Conway, goes along there, get good views. There's a bar. Yeah, lots of stuff. Even garden centers, they've got tropical fish. And I've got a huge amount of people uh, and it probably generates an interest for people to go uh, that have purchased, you know, hot water and then there's the cold water ones and you koi carp and uh, there's whole banks of them so just nothing to, you know, just do that and I didn't think much of it. Loads of people wanted to see, well, watched it. And even the stuff, you know, you get um, your Buddha fountains and all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of gardens say, oh, God, wow, I like that. I'm only guessing because, you know, people tend to... Uh, I bought something, but I've had the nerves to continue. It's uh, like a bookcase model thing of a, of a town with a, with a tram in the background in Japan. It's all made out of wood and it's got about 2,000 pieces to it. But uh, yeah, and there's a light, you press the light and it works. So obviously people get many of them, they're like a bookcase thing. It's the size of a bookcase, but it's got a huge depth in it. Yeah. It's a pity was not to, to break this sort of, uh, you know, the, just the continuous walking. There's usually an arrow boat goes by. And there has been when I was out on the way to the Shady. Good to have a reward at the end, isn't it? Well, halfway in my case, so. Slippery the path. Another bridge coming up. See this here, it's some kind of ivy, and there's lots of wasps and things that tend to swarm there. I don't think it's bees. You just hear a swarming noise.
can fly in my glasses now. Shut that door. Look at the muck around here. You know, I just pick the blessed thing out the corner of my eye. I'll get over it. Yeah, I thought I, you know, I wouldn't edit that out. You know, just, just put it, keep it on. No need. And Will's back on his job now. He's got somebody to help. Yeah. He's got his hand there and screwdriver, and he says, "When I." Nod my head, you hit it with a, with a mallet. Big lump on his head. Heidi, there you dug it out my brain. Heidi is the pirate lady with a the boat there. That's who she is, she has some talents. Yeah. Now stop it. She's a musician and stuff like that. And performs in, you know, disco stuff and that. And uh, yeah. Got her dog to replace the other dog that she had. Yeah, they've all got lives. Yeah. 111. Legs 11 plus 1. I probably miss those mushrooms now. God. Shall I go back and film it again? Yeah. This is a train in the distance. Country House Gent is um, another uh, boater, narrow boater, but he's con country, uh, currently on his motorbike along the northwest, mostly the northwest coast of Scotland. That's quite interesting. So there's a lot of variety. And some, some go abroad as well, and they still film, obviously, but not with a narrow boat. He could be on a camper van or whatever. There's a helicopter now, no sign of it. Yeah, I found a little cafe as well at Harwarden where, where they had the guppy. I think it's that, well, it's not, you know what I mean, it's a big transporter plane that takes parts, flies them where it's assembled in Europe. And it was a chocks away cafe. And there's an old uh, aircraft already. So if you go there, there's older aircraft around, including an old, uh, What's the name of the airline? Aeroflot, 1930s or 30s or 40s thing at the back of the cafe. So I've been to the cafe before and that's that was interesting. Just filmed that again. Didn't think much of it. I went to the cafe and then I noticed there was a, on the map, there's like a viewpoint thing. So and people like that, so 
I suppose you've got kids, some things like that. It's something different, isn't it? Shouldn't think it'd be too far now. I've spent some time doing something not stuck at home. Uh, there's people I see, of course, but this is, I could spend a lot of time doing this and it's under my total control. Nobody's, uh, I decide where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. I just like it anyway. And uh, like I say, these are there for me as well. <laughs> there are some people there and it's obviously more about them, but I'm not, you know, you know what I mean. But uh, this is for me because later on in life, I might not be so mobile. And I can see what, where I've been. And there's lots of people I chat to. That, that wouldn't be on the, on the film, by the way. Uh, generally, people are really nice. You get information from local people. This pointed me away to another place. Some of them are not, some of them are not obvious. use the zoom that much here but there's not much need for it oh yeah there's ships at Liverpool over there the Queen Mary the, the second I'll film that absolutely huge ship it was docking just coming into Liverpool now there's some nasty briars right across the Another quarter of an hour, I guess. Maybe less. Not for me, I could walk for a couple more miles. I've done that, but I had to, you know, I don't wanna, there's a lot of people do that and they film it and they're talking to like a hundred people and it's for three hours. I think, well, much as I like the character, you just, I can't really, I, I, I like to watch quite a number of different places, you know. South Korea, Hong Kong, Japan, the American, whole of America, Europe, travelers that go. I think is it Gabriel Traveler? He's a world traveler. Been doing it for some time. And uh, yeah, that's what I like. It's just ordinary people just doing a walk. I mean, I've got people from Japan that liked what I do, and I thought, well, it's just the fact that it's somewhere else, isn't it? Like, I've got places that I like, and I watch them. So I've got time to watch somebody making something that's three hours long. And I don't like the fact that they're talking, you know, because there's irrelevant stuff, you know, that you do, isn't it? It's like being at a party, and that's what it is, all different. And some of them <laughs> are actually more entertaining, but not in a deliberate way, if you know what I mean. The questions, are, I wouldn't be able to make three hours with people just, you know, they're, they're sort of friends, aren't they? But they, you get the, it's just, that's just me. This is where they've put some armco which is the barrier stuff, CRT. You know, when you see this, you think, oh God, is it actually blocked? You know, when I was going my way to the pub, I think, oh my God, I hope it's not uh, sort of stops there. 
but it's not. You can still see the Arnco that they've still to lay here. There you are. Yeah, you can see it now. And there's a marina up here. There's a lovely bridge, you know, because you need to go into the marina. And uh, you need a bridge then for the footpath to continue. And you can see the marina from on the bridge itself. So I've not reached that yet. There's the CRT vehicle. There's an old joke about a council worker. Somebody's going by and he says, why did you tread on that snail? She said, the bloody thing's been following me around all day. Bum bum. So here we go. They're always the same. That's their sort of logo. There's probably a hidden message on there. See that there? That means possibility of drowning unless we get things done quickly. See that, the water level. Making life better by water. Yeah. That might bring people to tears then. Stanny. There you are. done many jobs and uh, I've actually operated a caterpillar which has got caterpillar tracks like that one and it was um, I was in uh, maintenance and they wanted somebody else to have a go on it I was bloody happy I said look I didn't have to look you know when you're familiar with it all the controls are just put my hand some of them are behind you and that it's like a lad with a boy with a toy removing concrete and it's within a factory you know there's blue plastic screens to protect all the dust he said you're all right there i said yeah i'm very happy nobody take me off this vehicle sometimes you do something you know and you 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 pay to actually do it it's not very often but it does happen There's that helicopter. Do you remember the days you, they used to film people on taking their dog for a walk during the pandemic and they were fined or something? Two ladies just going out in the middle of nowhere, no risk of infecting anybody, but nevertheless, you know, the rules have to be applied.
bit of weed there, but apparently it was worse. It's never edible, any of that stuff, is it? It's like the sea, you've got edible seaweeds and loads of them people gather, but you never get stuff. As far as I know, on the canals, you think, oh yeah, just boil that and have it some new, new potatoes. Okay? And maybe one of the fish that you catch. Oh no. Do you need a license? I don't know, I'll have to ask the fisherman. I've actually seen somebody catch a whopper. But was it a bream or something like that? Massive thing. I gave him a round of applause. So I was impressed. I like to think that I did it. If I wasn't there, it must have been, you know, something. Chub, I think it was, or I don't know, something like that. It looks like a big goldfish, but it's not gold. It's color of mud, massive. Probably those narrow boaters are contributors as well, you know, their potato peelings. That would be perfectly okay, wouldn't it, to put it in there. It's all organic, it's not it's not pollution as far as I'm concerned. Not much wildlife around. Oh. See a lot of ducks and stuff. I've seen an odd kingfisher. You know, and anyone would say that is something, isn't it? If you see one, some people never even seen one now. You could be, yeah, all different stuff. Well, we must be near this marina now. I'm coming round the bend. It's not in sight yet, so maybe it is a bit more than a, an hour. I, th I don't think it'd be much more, because in 10 minutes you'd be surprised how far you've traveled, because you never think of doing that. Just look behind you here, for example. Right, that tree there on the left. And then just make a note of the time. It's two minutes to three in the afternoon. And let's just see how far we get in just a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I was learned from the Native American Indians uh, personally by big Chief Handkerchief. Is that in here? In here? Something. I've spoiled it now. Stop for a minute there. Just see how far we get. So it's two minutes to three. This is perfect, you know, in the summer. It's nice to walk in the sun, but I'm not plucking a drink out of my back's, back, um, backpack all the time. I have a boot full of drinks, you know, for various, uh, even if I'm going somewhere, you know, it's convenient on a journey, I can stop by.
So we've only walked ten, two minutes now. Oh God, well that was no good. It's out of sight, so it's miles away. Well, it's quite some distance away, I can assure you. Glad I didn't go any further and turn around, so it's not. It's surprising how far you walk at just a walking pace, a distance. Oh look, some cows, Frisians. Do you know my great granny was on uh, the Pink Floyd album, album, Atom Heart Mother. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny that. It's like another... See, I thought it was about an hour. I don't constantly monitor what I'm doing. And I remember the... Um, what is it? The marina. And I was thinking, oh, it's about an hour. It obviously was shorter than I thought it was. And now always the return journey seems to be longer. Is it, you know, obviously it's not true. And it can be proven not, but it does feel that way. It's funny, isn't it? Because I've misjudged the marina here with its bridge. And then shortly after that, of course, uh, will be this. It's quite an odd. It's when you're looking for somewhere to park. You find some places that uh, I should have just taken, a, you know, make a little short thing of the... Uh, the site, you'll see what I mean. Winter's on its way. Yeah. It's good, I've had one or two apples that were growing freely. Things like that. Blackberries. Slight glimpse of the trees there. We went far from Beast and Castle here. It's on a sort of sandstone rise. It's got some views. You can see um, Jodrell Bank and things like that, for example. That's a nice place to go to. And Stanage Edge, no, not Stanage Edge, that's in Sheffield. Uh, Alderley Edge. There's a guy, local writer from Cheshire, who wrote fantasy books for sort of like our adult children, Alan Garner, and it's based on locations there. There are copper mines and there's gold being found there in the shape of axe heads. It's a fascinating uh, place. And of course, a beacon that was there set for the possible invasion by Spain. So they had these beacons set up on hills and they sort of light a chain, a bit like on Lords of the Rings, you know, they start chain and this is like a signaling system various things like that and there's a wizard pub 
based on the story of the wizard, uh, a villager making his way back from Mobley village. Uh, he went to sell a horse and the, before he got to the market, this old man, strange old man said, you're not going to sell it, but I'll give you a good price. He said, well, I'd rather check things out. And I thought it was a good horse. Uh, sure enough, no, nobody even offered anything he could refuse. So the old man is there nearby, not far from like Stanage Edge, where there's a whole there were loads of tunnels there that have been dug up of natural and he was there he said oh well you, we needed that one that it's he said well i won't explain it to you by this time it was getting like twilight and he tapped the rock next to him and there was all these knights that were there to save us you know during the time of king arthur it was apparently merlin or whatever it's a great story so, yeah, Alderley Edge is worth a visit. Yeah, and that, that's not far as well. You could put in uh, Jodrell Bank. It's the Lovell Telescope, radio telescope, by the way. Well, Jodrell Bank is not that um, radio receiver. God, have I gone past? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? My God, it's possible, isn't it? No. <laughs> Probably gone. I would just then call it a day if I go further. <laughs> yeah, because if it was off a bridge. No, because I think the thing was on the other side. So, yeah, I've vastly overestimated this. So maybe I should talk a bit more. Because if I don't go to this sort of right through to what I can see is about the limit and then I'll just have to admit that uh, I need to have an appointment. <laughs> yeah. It'll take about five months but It's all right, I'm only 70% sure that I haven't uh, gone past. Surely not. This is... Uh... Let's have a look at this boat, because I will remember. I've got good memories, facilities. Yeah, it's only just over an hour anyway. It's just four minutes past the hour. It's fine. Just calm down. Yeah. I haven't got the right glasses on, I think. So I couldn't really absolutely be sure. So yeah, it just seems longer in my mind, which I was telling you. swans but more importantly this is like a grouping of boats here yeah and there's something in the distance we shall see
it's a youngster, but it's full sized. Look at him. He's, uh, there's two of them. Almost full white field, uh, plumage now. Bigger than mum or dad. There's no other three of them, and that's just probably mum, isn't it? And they're, they're bigger than her. Hey. Good job they're not turkeys, because they're just, just getting nice and plump now. There's Dad. Still making noises like uh, signets. People going through a path there to the left. As the churches have, have been to a certain little church in the middle of nowhere. It had a lot of charm. I was going to the grave digger as well. It wasn't Rod Stewart. He, he did that a long time ago in one of these churches. And uh, there's the usual stuff. And I'll go around and see here. And there you can see the font over there. And that's the, uh, the holy toaster. You know, once they have the bread, they break the bread, toast it. I hope that's not seen as being uh, anti-religious, it's not. There we go, what's this? What's the name here? Can't remember this. Well, mind you, that might not be there, you see. That's my excuse. Mum Pesson. Sounds French. Yeah, hopefully there's some feature there, and that's the actual lead up to the bridge into the marina. Yes. Oh, some people went here to the left. Where does that... Oh, it could lead into the marina that's out of sight at the moment. That could well be it. Yeah. That's a bit, uh, I don't think I'll explore that, I'm pretty sure now. Hello. You're the guard dog, are you? <laughs> Tranquility. All the logs there, eh? A few plants. Yeah, this is a car park there. Again, that'll be for the marina. You either like marinas or you don't. It's a bit like Marmite. At an emergency, I think, you know, the travelling boaters do go there for one reason or another. Uh, but uh, some people never go out on the boat. They just... Somebody on the dinghy there. The dingy. Where is it? It's just beyond that tree now, so... Missed out. Yeah, we're practically back now. So, 
a little bit of um, you know variety from just the canal you know the long length of canal that we walk there's a huge marina there we'll see maybe on the bridge but you can see it now, it might be marked on the bridge but as i'm going over it oh there's a sign there and that was facing the other way the other one where I was going is probably missing or whatever but yeah this is a marina there's the canoe now might as well take this this chap on his canoe there, see him So yeah, going back to the microphone, it is covered uh, the jacket because I don't want the when it's partially open, it'll flick off. Although it's strong, it's easily like I said, I've been through all kinds of stuff, trees, and you'll just forget, you know, because you're avoiding getting your face scratched off. Tatton shawl. Let's zoom in on the sign there. Welcome to Tatton shawl. It says it's, it does just say Marina. You can see it if you. Yeah. All oh, lots of facilities there. Just a quick look at the marina. Lots of boats. I would say there's well over a hundred. It's only a guess, but. And uh, we're near now across there. Across the canal is this industrial place where I parked and uh, we'll have a look. As I've got to get back to the car, I don't have a choice. So I only had what's called a snack. For lunch, usually I have something, you know, like a proper meal, but I've got my own macaroni cheese that I've made. And that bloody fills you up. It's called comfort food, isn't it? You eat it and you're not hungry half an hour later. You often think, you know, and you think I've checked it. I hope there's not a lock-up gate on this. Mind you, it's not that late, is it? No, it's not even four o'clock, so. It's very handy for parking for the canal, you can see now. This is inside one of the units, so it's not actually where people park, but uh, you can see. It does seem almost twice the distance that it did. I'm enjoying the walk, but uh, yeah, it's just uh, strange, isn't it? And maybe it's chatting because I wasn't chatting. I was just taking photographs then. Uh, you know, I don't. I'm just using the camera. I just flow by. 
Rusty nail. That's a drink as well, a cocktail, I believe. Whiskey and something. Screwdriver, another one. Yeah. Spirit level. No, I just made that up. You could make more, couldn't you? Yeah. Pipe cutter. Come on, join in. Acro prop. Greeb. Motorways of the Humber. tiny minute thing canal and river trust is it a generator or something who knows oh it's a winch there's a winch on it could be just a winch yeah got its own lights on it all right yeah in there Cross that way. Yeah, it was a nice pub, the Shady, uh, for the view. So you expect to pay a little bit extra. And it's not open all year, obviously. They tend to be winter time. They decide to close it at various, because it's just not viable, is it? And that it's not on a road that you would pass. It's not on a main road, you see. So it's not a sort of like, Somebody who's just happened to pass it, see it on the road. It's off on a little lane. The narrow boaters know it. They're aware of it. It's, uh... So when I process it, and it takes hours, I'll find whether the Recording on the microphone is uh, okay. And a backpack on my back, so I'm struggling there, that's it. Fall the lee, fall the la. Fall the lee, fall the ha, 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 ha. There's Asda delivery, away from him. Get a final look at the shroppy. That's another delivery company, parcels and stuff. And that green van. There we are, I'll just make sure. Yes, it was this particular place. Now to find the car amidst the, uh, the huge amount of cars parked here. I think I can memorize it. I remember this Taylor's place, it's like a engineering cars or something. I'll say I'm going to the boneyard, I think it is. Is it the boneyard? Um, what, what they call it anyway, you'll see. Yeah. 
I know what I'm talking about, I just can't remember. There. Yeah, I think. So they specialise in four by fours. Yeah, seems Land Rover specialists. Yeah. Crunchy, crunchy. Ah, that's this way, I guess. There you are, Boneyard, I was right. Skate park or something, that's it, it's come back to me now. Yeah. Yeah. That no parking sign there is to do with not blocking the way in because it does say entrance car park, entrance skate park. It's not open today anyway, so. Well, I could be wrong. Yeah. Bit out of the way for the kids, aren't it? Mostly kids, isn't it? To take their parents or a bike. There you are, there's my car. Right, I'll leave it now. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe if you want. Bye bye now.